Hello? Hello? All right, wake up, pay attention. Let's get this party started. Am I ready to go? Can I go? Can I go? Please. Ooh, I'm timing. All right, I'm going to give you a very quick uh, things. I made. I made these slides just now, so I haven't thought this through, so it will show. Essentially, I'm going to talk to you about what originally started. I named it the BDSM project. Um, it's now the SM framework as a subset of that project. The whole idea behind it is essentially that servers should be submissive. So essentially, what is this? The SM framework? What is SM? It's, well, it's an acronym, so because I, I couldn't really figure out what the hell to name it. System stack scripting management framework. That pretty much sums it up. Um, so at the it, what it is is that it's got a, it's got a core to it. it. Installs to opt SM if you install as root by default. It's got a command line interface that it uh, supplies to you. It has modules that it supplies as well. We'll get to those in a few minutes. And the modules have an API. We'll get to that again. And then the whole point to it is that it enables you to write extensions. So you ask what the uh, what what BDSM project does, what the SM framework does. The answer is whatever you need it to do. It, the idea is that it's a framework to enable you to write system level scripts and uh, distribute and share and do all kinds of useful things with them. Um, so what is an extension? Basically, it is a directory. It's a named directory. It has a bin directory. You put executable scripts in this bin directory. This means that it's actually language agnostic. Uh, language agnostic, but actually doing it in shell has some significant advantages. Um, so you put, make a shell directory inside of your extension, and you make a functions file in there, and you can actually put shell scripting functions in there, which if you add scripts into your bin directory, executable scripts, that are shell scripts, then they will automatically load in these functions in there as well as other things. So now what we have here is we have the core CLI, we have our extensions, but the point of the modules that I showed you earlier is that the modules API can be used by extensions. There's a lot to it, I'm not gonna go into it, but basically you have an includes file inside of the shell, and you can include the module APIs. And depending on what modules you included, you may have other auxiliary uh, directories like configuration, templates, depending on what modules you include. And there's also this useful little CLI mapping um, file, which basically allows you to map command line actions, like uh, I have a deploy extension I'm working on. You can type sm space deploy. And there, in the bin directory of that extension, there is no files. So it's actually being mapped to a shell function in the functions uh, path, or I'm sorry, file. And then, uh, so if you're a good extension developer, you also have a version and you keep them versioned. Yeah, you can install them easily by SMEXT install name URI. So you give it a name, this is what your will, you know, SM space, if you're in installing an Nginx one, it'd be SM space Nginx, whatever. Give it a URI, that can be a file system path of any valid URI. And then you can also have sets of extensions. So if you have a bunch of extensions that are related to your company or whatever, you'll make a set with a bunch of them and you install them similarly. So what's the scope of this project? Well, the scope is you have your operating system. It has an underlying package manager. It manages your operating system and all that stuff. It does a damn good job at it. Don't mess with it. Just use it. And then you have your application stack. So everything that defines your um, runnable application stack Use the, the SM framework to script that into uh, submission. And then on top of that, you add a content management system like uh, Chef. And then on top of that, you have some distributed thing for managing multiple servers, probably. So the scope of this is it's supposed to be a single system uh, scripting stack uh, ma management framework. Um, again, it's the BDSM project's SM framework. I have a GitHub organization for it, uh, github.com slash SM. And it's uh, just like the RVM website, but uh, BDSM, or if you're at work and they block stuff like that, you can actually do sm.beginrescuing.com as well. If you have questions on this, ask me later. Um, enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> You're weird.